that appear. But in, in South Africa, we had bigger issues. We were oppressed on the grounds of race. So all Indians were black, all people of color, and we were very poor because our grandparents were indentured laborers. But they preserved their culture, their language. You could see all of us have Tamil names. Uh, so it's true, we, we, we picked up some things, but we had to learn to uh, work together to fight apartheid. So that was our biggest struggle. And in the process, we had to learn to communicate. If we spoke in Tamil, do you think all those other groups would have understood us? No. We had to go and fight on their ground, and in order to do that, we had to learn to speak English. So I see the same here in your struggle. It's very important that we have a, a, you know, thousands of years of history, the Tamils. Many people tell me all the time, your Tamil people are very clever. I keep quiet saying, okay, it must be true. <laughs> um, so we are achievers. When I come to conferences like this, I'm so impressed. You know, I mean, we don't look grand or dress very wealthy, but each one uh, is, is a professional and an achiever. So, so we should be proud of what we've done, even in the struggle. The point of this meeting, as I understand is, it is how can we help one another as an interest group, as a Tamil group, and show solidarity to the struggles of one another. See, while we were struggling in South Africa, we didn't hear, get much support from Tamils in India because you didn't know that we were going through terrible times in South Africa. Um, and similarly, when the uh, oppression of Tamils in Sri Lanka was, was going on, the conflict, and is still going on, and I visited the country, there was a sense that there was not enough support from Tamil Nadu for the Tamils in Sri Lanka. I'm not saying so. They felt it and they said so. So then there is something wrong. Why aren't we learning about each other's struggles and speaking with one voice. So this is what I understand this meeting to be, even though I didn't understand all the very good speeches. So I support that. All over the world, nobody cares about your rights and so on, unless you get together as an interest group. Now, what do I mean as an interest group? For instance, women have been oppressed all over, and no exception, that includes Tamil women. I don't see many Tamil women speakers here at this conference. So we have to fight our own struggles. And here in the United States, it's, it's really reached a point where finally women are saying, and especially since this comes from movie stars, they don't like all this touching and uh, sexual remarks and sexual habits. You know, I mean, they even went for Joe Biden because he kept putting his arm around women. And so finally, the men are understanding the point of view of women. That rape is a very serious crime, sexual violence is a very serious crime, and you have to respect women. So it's women getting together to spread that message, and I think they're getting successful. I have two young women here whom I just met. They will never put up with the nonsense that we had to put up with, yes? So that's great progress. Uh, let's look at persons with disabilities. If you look at the building we are in, we don't even think as we run up and down the escalator and stairs, how is a person in a wheelchair going to enter here? How is a blind person supposed to read the videos we sh see the videos we're showing and interpretation for the hard of hearing? <coughs> So finally, you know, the, the mo most recent, the most recent treaty adopted by member states was on people who have disappeared. That's very important. But the one before that was the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. What did they say, the persons with disabilities? They said nothing about us without us. So they don't want other people to speak for them, they want to speak for themselves. 
So every one of the members of the committee, the UN Committee on, Pers on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, is a person with some disability. So I saw them all when I was High Commissioner for Human Rights. So this is a picture, big picture of what I'm leading to, why we should never apologize for getting together as Tamils in every corner of the world and watching out uh, and understanding what, it, what is it that the people, the Tamils in Sri Lanka want? What is it that the Tamils in Tamil Nadu, a huge state, I mean, they're so powerful, but I hear of the grievances. I hear of inroads being made against your language, your land, and so on. And if you don't pay attention to that before you know it, it will be overtaken. So I hear you on that. So we have to, so to, to me it's an education to hear, to hear you. Because I did read this book, it's published by uh, Angana Chatterjee, a close friend of mine. It's just come out and it's called, um, uh, well I forgot the title now, uh, but it's about the Modi government and and how they're beginning to impose extremist forms of his brand of uh, Hinduism on the, on the rest of India, including suppression of other languages. Um, we have to get anxious about this. We have to worry about Tamil-speaking people in the rest of the world. They may have divisions. I even here I hear different points of view on what it is you want. Do you want self determination? Do you want your own state? Do you want to work together? Do you really have anything in common with Tamils in other parts of the world, such as South Africa, who don't speak Tamil, but they are Tamil. They look it and uh, they work as hard as you. So, do we really have things in common? So, we have to tie up the issues that concern us, and as I see it, it's human rights violations if a single Tamil anywhere in the world is threatened with violation of their rights and we should care about it. So that means unity, united action, sharing of information and knowledge. So I, I hope that, uh, you know, it's very hard to sit in a meeting and not really understand what speakers are saying. But I think that that is the message that I will take back with me to South Africa to say this is what I learned from the conference. Thank you for this opportunity.